Anyway, hi everybody, welcome. This is, uh, I bet people are sick of hearing that song. I know I am. Anyway, welcome to this thing that we're doing here. I got some fun stuff for Christmas. Uh, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice day thing to have when you have people that want to watch your things for Christmas. And so hopefully the moon will be right. What can I say? Uh, so this is Christmas and what have we done? Another year over, a new one just begun. I'm going to play some Christmas games, and I'm going to play um, Banjo-Kazooie, a new Christmas modification. And then I'm going to play Super Mario World from memory. So, I hope everyone is having a good day, even if this isn't a holiday that you give a shit about. I just hope you're having a good day. Whatever it may be. Mine was, uh, it was okay. It's the usual. I'm not a big holidays guy, but you know, I'm, I, I enjoy doing this and, uh, let's make the moon even brighter. I have some amaretto though. My stomach has been a little weird lately since I got over being sick. So I'm not sure it's going to work. I might have to not drink that, <laughs> but we'll see. <clears throat> Tornuktu. Late one winter, polar night, you find yourself unable to sleep, awoken with a strange, uneasy feeling. With your mother fast asleep, you decide to move to the living room. With not much to do, you start reading an old book you found at the town bookstore earlier that day. Okay. So we're going for the big dick graphics here. Alright, good, good. Yeah. Got something for you. How's my hearing? Yesterday it was weird, but uh, today it's better. I'm not sure. It's been hard to gauge 100%, but I think I lost like 5% of my hearing in my right ear. So that's fun. I'll, I'll keep you updated over the next couple days. The Tornuktu is an evil creature originating from Alaskan folklore. I feel like this is... Um, one of those Colonel Snake conversations in Metal Gear Solid. The Tornuktu is an evil creature originating from Alaskan folklore. Its physical form is described as having both human and reindeer characteristics. But Snake, it has the head of a reindeer. But with human teeth, which wrap around its entire face, it has a body of a man with the hooves for feet. Um, yes, the, with the hooves for feet, its skin is pale white, but is covered in black fur, and it has eyes that glow in the night. It is said to be especially tall when on its hind legs and capable of walking like a human. However, it's also capable of galloping like a deer and can travel at high speeds in an almost floating manner. Is this a real folklore? Has anyone heard of this? Well, I say real, but does this ring a bell for anyone? We got any Alaskans? Colonel, when I lived in Alaska, there was a Turnuktu. I trained with it. Sniper Wolf gave everything she had for this Chernoktu. Colonel, have you heard of Mukbang? Yes, Snake. A Mukbang is what.
The Tornuktu is said only to be seen in the months of November through January. During these months, Alaska experiences a time of darkness, also known as polar night, where the sun ceases to rise. It is believed the Tornuktu is unable to attack outside of these months due to a weakness to the sun. Once the polar night starts, the Tornuktu is said to be starving and will begin its hunt, invading people's homes and eating them. It's believed that the Tornuktu targets those who build their homes far from others in secluded places. Thus, to be safe from an attack, people should live closely to one another. Mm. Snake, it's me, your old pal, Otacon. Snake, have you heard of an NFT? NFT. Yeah. It stands for non-fungible token. Fungible. Well, I was kind of hoping that I could borrow your likeness for a couple years, Snake. No, you don't have my permission. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, oh my god, it's Huey, not Otacon. Snake, have you heard of One Guy, One Cup? Sorry, it's not even the right video name. Oh, that's a nice snowman. Wow. The moon is right on that one. I, I was hoping no one would correct me. On the one guy, one cup, but too many people have corrected me. Um, I'm adding you all to a list. Anyway, uh, cool legs on the snowman. That, that seems necessary. No Santa tracker? Well, let's let's be a little patient. I'll give you a compromise. We'll do the Santa tracker when I play Mario. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and close that door. Okay. The weird faced snowman was, uh, was at the back door. We don't need that. It was a different one. A sign Tornuktu is near is finding snowmen-like figures which are said to have faces of the dead and smell like human corpses. It's believed such figures will surround the house before the Tornuktu attacks. Another sign it might be near is excessive feelings of fear or distress with no direct cause. Snake, have you heard of Santa Claus? Santa Claus? Yes. Tell me more. Woo. Well, if you're a good boy this year, Snake, Santa Claus will bring you a nice present. Oh boy, I can't wait. I want a SOCOM. The Tornuktu also carries a bag made of fur which it uses to steal children from the house it attacks. It's unknown where they, the children go when they are taken. Some say Tornuktu eats their soul to attain immortality. Others that it keeps them to eat throughout the rest of the year. Though that would be much more intelligent to do. You want to have food for the rest of the year. Well, dear brother, I got the naughty jeans, and you got the nice ones! That's why you always got the best gifts! Oh, Jesus. Well, this person's brother probably just got eaten. Nice. Oh, that's mom. Oh, sick. Nah.
Да. Merry Christmas. Okay. I mean, there was another entry in the book, but I couldn't get there because it was too busy eating my uh, face. That's fine. Uh, I'm sorry to do this to you, but I have another game. This is Banjo-Kazooie and Mario World waiting room right now, so... Well, while we wait for people to pile in, I've got some good stuff for you. Like... Well... The Three-Headed Santa, The Awakening. I'm sorry of all the trash that I could be playing for you tonight. Made in two days for the, I thought it would be a good idea to make a game in two days right before Christmas, even though I can't tie my own shoes imaginary game jam. We can finally decorate the Christmas tree. Very nice camera. My favorite time of the year. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. No. I need to find five no. bottles to Is this the okay? Let's no. do this. <laughs> Why did I look down immediately. Why did I do that? No, I think it's okay. It wasn't like hyper detailed and it was cartoon. It's fine. First party, exactly. It's just a butt. They, they show butts in video games all the time. Not a mod. Is this the Unity House? Or some variation thereof? Okay, I just went too fast up the stairs and uh, got stuck in the ceiling. Oof. HQ Residential House. Very nice. The mouse doesn't lock in, so I, I almost accidentally banned someone. I just clicked on someone's name in chat by accident, sorry. I'm gonna be very careful about that. Um... My, in the previous game, my character was very short. And in this game, I'm so tall that I sometimes go through the ceiling. That's nice. This is a good asset. How much did that cost on the Unity store? Oh. It's also... My sense of scale has been completely fucking destroyed. Okay, oh, okay. Yes. This was not pre-vetted. And I, I regret this decision immensely. Boner. The lighting on the car is really cool, too. Isn't it? Look at that lighting. Let's see, where are we? What are we doing? We got one more ornament. In this HQ house. Um, it looks stretched, too. Like, everything just... Looks fucking stretched. Really cool. Nothing in the laundry room. Oh, we got one in the bathroom. I'm actually really happy the mirror doesn't work. You know, I recorded a video of my favorite games of the year, and I forgot to include the Radiohead game. Big picture of a cat. So I'll just do, like, I'll pre-record a quick addendum, and I'll have Johnny cut it in. 
Damn, this Christmas tree is looking fire. I just need to find something to put on the top and the Christmas tree will be completed. I want my tree to be better than everyone else's, so I am gonna put three stars on the top of mine. I think I left them on my Lamborghini in the garage. Let's put these fuckers on top of the Christmas tree. <laughs> this is a Christmas game by humans for humans. Nice. Well, time to go to bed. It's Christmas tomorrow. Hell yes. Okay. That's nice. Thank you for showing that. Vinny, don't forget Cyberpunk. Oh my god. It's Christmas Day. I can't wait to see what gift Santa has left me. I hope I got another Lambo. Wait a minute. Hey. <laughs> what the? Who the hell stabbed my lampshade? It's supposed to be Christmas. <laughs> we'll talk more about that later. About not the, the scene we just saw. We won't ever talk about that again, but we, we will talk about cyberpunk in a serious discussion in, in just a little bit. Uh, thoughts on Matrix 4. I have a re movie review video I did reviewing both Spider-Man and Matrix in full spoiler <laughs> details. <laughs> What's wrong with the Christmas tree? It's, uh, it, it, hmm. Someone put a couple Joy-Cons on, in, in it. Damn, that feels good. We, we good? We good. I'm sorry. Why is my present in the bathroom? Why is my present in the bathroom? <laughs> Please stop showing this. Please, I beg you. Where am I? I think I've been kidnapped. <laughs> and what the hell was that thing? This is like With a horizontal rising head. Claws. Ho, ho, holy sheep. <laughs> Wrong time to drink. Wrong time to take a sip. Dear Santa, this year... Can I please get another Highland Sill game? Keep it real, Santa. Michael, age eight. Santa's note. I bet this kid hasn't even played the original games. What a poser. I'm sending this little shit bag some coal. F fun. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's, uh, let's not go that way, though. Oh, it doesn't matter. It just loops. I need the key. Why is this game still going? Most games would be content to end with the three-headed Santa jump scare, but no, this game is bold. This game is subverting expectations. It's like poetry, it rhymes. It's so dense. There's so much on the screen. It broke new ground. It took 10 years to make. It's a sh the first strand type game. That was a probably not a great move. Okay, there's the key. I think. Oh, okay.
Great. Chainsaw. <laughs> this is just puppet combo distilled. You did it too, didn't you? Who the fuck are you? You also put three stars on the top of your Christmas tree? We were so foolish. We wanted to have a better Christmas tree than all the others. And now we must pay the ultimate price. You think that putting three stars on top of the Christmas tree has summoned three-headed Santa and <sighs> chainsaw minions? Yes. Damn, I think you're right. Damn, you've got some big feet. Why are you naked? It's Christmas. I never wear clothes at Christmas. It's a celebration. It's a lot of exposition we're getting nice. all at once. <clears throat> Alright. Head out. What? I've been a bad boy, Mr. Santa. But I'm not dying today. Fuck, why am I... Why? No, I'm good. I, I, I'm escaped. Now I can report this maniac Santa. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> Oh shit, it's real Santa. Oh, oh, oh. What a plot twist. It's him. It's the real Santa. Hey man, use this. Uh. I oh. always wanted an Uzi. Thanks, Santa. Okay. Can we, like, get off that view? It just keeps going. It just keeps going and we get red sprinkles. Oh, 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 I accent whoa. Merry Christmas, you three-headed cock sucking son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh my god. And and just at the end there, I clicked out of the game because the mouse isn't locked in. So that made it even better. to always keep that queued up better add that to your games of the year list yeah seriously all right everybody let's take a moment and let let us find some emotions it's a new segment i like to call find your emotion that way we can all develop healthy emotional responses here are your choices Which, which one are you most feeling? I'm feeling kind of it was a movie. And maybe a little bit of VAR Nation. But otherwise, I guess I'm, I'm feeling like that dude right here. This guy. Not bad. Not bad overall.
All right, great. Well, that's the Merry Christmas. That's it. It's over. No more Christmas. Christmas is done. And so this is Christmas. And what have I done? No, I have more Christmas for you. And you and you've got some pastrami on your overalls. I've got something very fun, I think. But before I play the banjo kazooie, I just want to say Matrix bad. Okay, thank you. Let us now take a look at this next game. <clears throat> yeah. Well, keep in mind, keep in mind that some people are going to like it. Some people are going to find some merit. There's some stuff in it that I liked, but oof. Yeah, it's mixed as fuck, but I just didn't like it. That's my take. That's my take. If you want a full review, I did a full, full ass review that will be uploaded at some point soon. And I, I really, I explained myself because it's one thing to just say something sucks. It's another thing to go into detail and I'll, I'll do both. Does it at least warrant its own existence? Well, it tries to remind you that it needs to justify its own existence like every couple minutes. So without justifying its own existence, it tells you that it needs to justify its own existence like a lot. But there are some really cool ideas in the movie, in my opinion. I don't think they were executed particularly well at times, but there's some interesting stuff that could have been expanded on that was kind of cool. But, eh. Anyway, if you want, just wait for my quote-unquote review. I'm not a professional. I don't know a goddamn thing. But I do know that Banjo-Kazooie is good.